Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, um, you know, some of the things sometimes are interesting because they are unique and are different than other uh, problems that we might see. And this involves a 18-year-old security flaw. And the best part of it is it affects Mac OS, so Mac computers, and it affects Linux, but it does not affect Windows. And the flaw is in Firefox, in Chrome, and in Safari. And <coughs> has to do with a security vulnerability that was found 18 years ago where a request to go to address 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 in a browser opens up a vulnerability that makes the user basically take control of any device they want and um, it's never been fixed in 18 years. Once again, Firefox, um, Chrome and Safari and the Safari is on the uh, Apple only, uh, but Chrome and Firefox on Linux also are um, vulnerable. Now, what they've done is kind of do changes to mitigate this flaw so that, for example, it, they try to prevent any requests going to 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. There are all sorts of little things like that to make it harder, not impossible, but harder to exploit the flaw. And um, every company says that it's a very peculiar problem that is hard to really fix completely. So that's why it's been there for such a long time and never been fixed. And of course, you got to kind of think that maybe these companies saying, yeah, it's on a Mac or on a Linux machine, which are low numbers. It's not like, you know, a Windows machine because uh, that that flaw doesn't work in Windows. It doesn't create any vulnerability, which is very interesting. So they are working on a fix. They said that they are going to be looking at a fix. Uh, Chrome uh, team, the Chrome team is working on one. The Firefox Mozilla team is working on one. They're trying to find a way to implement a real fix. But for now, it's really just mitigation and some of the mitigation will come in in other versions. So, for example, uh, we are now at um, Google Chrome 127. Uh, one of the new mitigations for Chrome will be in version 128 all the way to version 133. They will implement a temporary um, mitigation to make it even more complicated to uh, assess this and to access the flaw. Uh, Firefox also is doing some mitigation in future updates to make it even more secure. And now that we're talking more about it, I think they're going to have to work a little harder too. So it is very interesting to see that flaws that are so old can still be uh, there and, and no fix has been done for them. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.